Hi everybody, I'm back and today I'm going to show you all how to make chicken fried steak. Here's what you will need. You will need steak and you're more than welcome to use any type of steak that you want to use. I know a lot of people when they make this recipe, they will use cube steak. I don't choose to use cube steak because it's a tougher piece of meat. Today I'm going to use a beef chuck blade steak boneless. You will need parsley, salt, pepper, garlic powder. Over here I have three eggs that I'm going to beaten up. Alright, let's go ahead and beaten this up. And what we're going to do is we're going to pour some milk down into these eggs because we need to dredge our meat. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour some milk right into those eggs. So now we have an egg and milk mixture. I'm going to need another fork <clears throat> that we're going to dredge our meat in. And then you will need flour. Over here I have flour on the plate that I'll be able to dredge my meat into. Okay, so the first thing that I'll need to do is let's come down onto these beautiful steaks. Hey, you can use ribeye. You can use any cut of steak that you would like to use for this recipe. This recipe is so easy, guys. It doesn't cause for hardly any, any ingredients. It's so quick and fast and yet so tender and it's crunchy on the outside and it's moist in the inside. And then I'm going to put a beautiful white sauce on the top. Oh, guys, listen. I am cooking tonight. You hear me? It's Friday night and we're having chicken fried steak. Yes, we are. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this. I'm cooking for four tonight. All right. So I need to cut four pieces just like so. All right. And I have a frying pan over here to the left of me and I have some oil in the pan. And let me show you because I want to show you how much oil I have in the pan. Can you get an idea? Because we're going to fry this as, as if it was chicken. So I have a nice amount of oil in that pan today. All right. So now let's go ahead in and we need to season our beautiful steaks. All right. So let me wash my hands since I handled the meat. I don't want to handle my spices after handing that, handling that raw meat because you don't want to transfer bacteria. So anytime you handle raw meats, you want to always wash your hands before you touch your spices. All right? So then let's go in with some salt. Let me turn this around and season it up good, guys. All right? Don't be afraid to season your meat, everybody. You hear me? You want some flavor, you season that meat up. All right, let's get some black pepper in. I love black pepper. Black pepper is nice and healthy for you. It has antioxidants in it, all right? Get you some black pepper on there. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna season both sides so that our meat can be well seasoned. I hope you all have had a great Friday night. I hope you all enjoyed the video for the Buckeyes that me and Dakota did. That was a lot of fun. And Dakota's recital went well. All right, so then we're going to go in with garlic powder, just like so. All right, and one thing that I've done is I've had this meat setting out for 25 minutes on the counter. Because one thing that you don't want to do, and I say it a lot, you don't want to... Uh, take your meat right out of the refrigerator and cook it because it'll be tough. All right, you let it set out and you let that meat rest on the counter or wherever you set it and it'll get nice and relaxed. The proteins will relax and then when it hits that hot pan, you know, it won't seize up and get dry on us. All right, it'll be nice and juicy and tender. So then what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and flip our meat over. I'll use a fork so that I don't have to wash my hands again. And we're going to season the other side. When we season the other side, you just be 
very careful of your salt because remember we put salt on the other side you really don't need a lot if you want it to you don't have to put salt on this side all right I'm just using salt pepper and garlic powder because this dish is so flavorful that's all you need it is and, and you want to taste that steak you don't want to overpower the flavor of the steak you want to taste that too if you can understand what I'm saying okay we'll go in with some salt but just a little bit <coughs> excuse me everybody <coughs> excuse me the black pepper really got to me and the funny thing is I was trying to hold that in <laughs> ever since I was shaking that pepper I felt it coming <laughs> Absolutely, I did. All right, what I'd like to do, I want for the seasoning to soak down into my meat. All right, so what I'm going to do before I even start to dredge this, I'm going to let this seasoning soak down into this meat for about 7 to 10 minutes. After that, I'll come back, I'll show you how to dredge this, and we'll get this fried up, guys. Be right back. Okay, everybody, our meat has soaked, well, our spices have soaked down into the meat for around seven to 10 minutes. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and take our meat and you wanna dredge it this way. You're gonna dip it into flour, okay? Just like so. All right. We're going to dip it into egg. Oh, yeah. Just get it in there. Just like that. And then, can you all see? Back into the flour. I'll try my best so you all can see that. So it's just flour, egg, and flour. All right? And then we're going to set it aside, put these bad boys in that in that frying pan and fry them up like this was chicken you hear me and you're gonna have one of the best chicken fried steaks that you have ever that you have ever tasted or ever seen absolutely and take your time like I always like to say have patience have patience when you get in this kitchen guys you hear me all right and make sure that flour is nice on there all right so I have a plate over here then I'm going to set my finished product on right here, just like so. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna do one more for you, and then I'll do the other two off camera. So we're gonna flour, just like so. Put this bad boy down into this, let's see, can you see? Right down into that egg, get down in there. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm really cooking in here, guys. You hear me? All right. And then flour. Flour well. Pack that flour down on there, okay? So that we can get a beautiful crust. Okay? Almost like a fried chicken crust. All right. Pack that on there just like so. I'm going to continue to do the others. I'll be back when they're all done. And then we'll fry these up. Okay, everyone. I'm back. Now we have everything dredged, and I have two pans because I think I'll probably have to use two pans in order to cook them all. So I put some oil in this one also. All right, so we're going to go in and grab our steak. Shake it a little. Shake it off a little. Put it right down in this oil, just like so. Okay, can you all see over there? Absolutely. Okay, and then we'll grab another and put it in the same pan. Okay, we'll just do two each pan. All right, that way we don't have to worry about overcrowding it. All right, I have that on a medium high. And then we'll go in with this one that's closest to the camera. And we're going to do the same. Just lay it down in there, guys. Don't be afraid to cook this. This is easy. It's not hard, nothing hard about this recipe or anything that I cook in this kitchen. All right? So, that little bit of oil will do the trick. 
Don't go in poking at it or using your spatula or peeking at it. It'll be just fine. Let it get nice and golden brown, all right? Once, it, once you can see like a golden brown ring around the bottom, then we'll flip it, all right? Because you want that nice crispy, um, you want that nice crispy crust, don't you? So leave it alone. Don't mess with it. me one second guys I'm washing my hands that way I don't transfer any bacteria from the raw meat as I said earlier absolutely Woo! I made some hot soapy water over here Woo! I stuck my hand down in there oh my goodness Woo! you know how that chill goes all the way through your body it starts like at your fingers and then it that chill <laughs> goes all the way through you. That was some hot water, guys. All right, so we're just gonna let this, let it be. All right, don't cook it on up too high, okay? If you have your temperature too hot, what will happen is your steak won't get done. Okay, and what I mean is the outside of the steak might look nice and golden brown or dark brown, but the inside will be raw. That's why you want to cook it at a medium temperature, like a medium, high, medium, and it'll turn out just perfect. Trust me, guys, when I tell you this, all right? Tr trust me. All right, it smells so good already. And so, when we make our, we're going to make a gravy. And when I make my gravy, I'm going to use milk. I'm going to use, well, I'll show you. I'll show you. And I think I'm going to put a little bit of chicken bouillon in just for some flavor. This is going to be a white gravy. And that's typically what they use when you're making chicken fried steak is the white gravy. And it has uh, salt and black pepper in it. But I want a little bit more flavor in mine, guys. All right. Oh, let me show you all something. Someone bought me the best gift ever. <laughs> this has got to be the best gift I've ever received. Thank you so much. Parsley. You know how I always tell you guys, I can't live without God and I cannot live without my parsley. Thank you so much. I'll never run out of parsley now. <laughs> Thank you so much. I can really use that because literally, I like, I promise you, I'm not even lying. Once every two weeks, oh, I'm buying more parsley. Yes, absolutely. That's how much I use parsley. I love it. So thank you again. Absolutely. It's starting to get, let me show you. I'm going to peek in down into this one. And you can see over in this area where it's starting to get a golden brown color but I know it hasn't cooked long enough and it's not ready so I'm not gonna touch it and we're just gonna let it go for a while I'll show you these ones it's looking beautiful okay we're gonna let these get nice and brown and cook for a while once I'm ready to turn them I'll be back everyone okay everyone time to turn these now I'm gonna start with the ones that I put into the pan first because those will be done before the ones that I put in last. Be gentle, take your time. All right, and don't let it splatter because if it splatters, it'll splatter your way. You wanna be very careful when you're dealing with a nice amount of oil. Whoops. Okay, hold on guys. There you go. Ooh, -wee. you hear me guys? All right, on to these ones. Can you see that? Oh, my word. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Come on and work with me, baby. Woo, you're going to be tender, ain't you? I got to fight with you. Okay. Awesome. All right. Let's do it this way. Beautiful. Okay, and now we want to work on the other side, and then we'll let these rest on our cutting board while I show you how to make this beautiful white gravy that's so easy, guys. You hear me? And on the side, 
On the side today, I have uh, garlic mashed potatoes, and I have some sweet yellow corn that I've seasoned with salt and pepper, and just salted butter, right? Oh yeah, just let this go. See how this has a crust just like a fried chicken would? That's what you're looking for. And make sure, make sure you don't turn this up onto high, all right? Look at that, guys. Just let it cook. My whole house is perfumed right now, and it smells so good. Woo-wee! I'm going to turn this one down a little, and I'm going to turn this one down. Because, like I said, I want that inside to be done. We're not doing any medium rare steaks today. Because when you make this, you want it to, to be done. Okay? At least I do. All right? Oh, wait. This is what makes me happy, guys. Friday night dinner. I'm having country, or not country fried steak, chicken fried steak mashed potatoes and corn and for dessert we have that strawberry jello cake Woo! it don't get no better than that guys and when i get up in the morning i'm making fried potatoes i'm gonna make them some cheese eggs and i was thinking about i don't know if i'm gonna fry some ham up or just make some bob evans sausage and then tomorrow i'm gonna rest I'm going to message you all back. I'm going to message everybody that I can back. And then, try to get some Christmas shopping done. What little bit that I can do. Absolutely. So that's my plans for tomorrow. But I want to start it off with a good breakfast. And maybe some... What was I getting ready to say? Maybe some coffee with eggnog in it? Oh, absolutely. I'll be right back, guys. Hey, everybody, look at this. I wanted to cut down into my steak, one of them, just the end of one of them, just to see if it was done. And this is perfectly how I want it. Taste that right there, guys. Oh, yeah, taste that. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to get these out of the frying pan onto my cutting board, and I'm going to show you how to make our gravy. Be right back. Okay, everyone, so here's what you want to do when you want to make this gravy. Not quite sure, but I think this gravy is called country gravy. Don't quote me on that, guys. So now, we have all of these bits that came from our steak and we have some oil in there I've poured off some of the oil because we didn't need all of the oil that was in there we're gonna put us some flour in there all right and we're gonna make what you call a roux okay we need to just mix our roux around with the oil and the bits and pieces that have came off of the steak so now not only do you have this oil but you have the flavor that we put onto the steak which is that salt and that pepper and that garlic powder and then you also have the flavor from the meat all right and so what we're making right now like I said is the roux and we're going to mix milk in there who is that we're going to mix milk into our roux I was asking who was that because I heard somebody, guys. I heard somebody at my door. All right. I'm going to mix this milk in just like so. Okay. And then I think I need a little bit more flour. Just a little bit more, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to pour your milk in instead of pouring um, like chicken broth or water or beef broth this time we're using milk if you want it to you can use a heavy whipping cream also this is what you're looking for absolutely now let's let this cook let's let this cook 
all right? It's gonna get nice and velvety, and we're gonna cook it long enough so that flour taste, sorry guys, so that flour taste comes out of it, all right? So then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and season this up. A Little bit of garlic powder, just like so, absolutely. A Little bit of black pepper. Oh yeah, baby. I ain't playing today. A Little bit of salt. And then I'd like to go in with my chicken bouillon. We're gonna go ahead and put that in there. Anytime I can put extra flavor in there, oh, I'm all for it. I'm all for flavor, guys, you hear me? I gotta have flavor in my food. It's funny because even my nine-year-old, he knows what flavor is. He'll tell me he, he was making some uh, ramen noodles and one time he said, I need some flavor. <laughs> and he made those ramen noodles, guys. He put cheese in there. He put hot sauce and he was just putting all kinds of stuff. By the time we tasted his noodles, those noodles were so good. You hear me? And that was his flavor. He put garlic powder and everything in there. Hold on, everybody. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Let's go ahead, see how it's thick. What you wanna do, keep pouring your liquid in until it thins out. Oh, it'll thin out for you with no problem. And by you keep stirring this way, keep stirring and stirring and stirring, you won't have one single lump. You hear me? Trust me, guys, when I tell you this, okay? All right, this is the sauce that we're looking for. Absolutely. And if you need to thin it out some more, put you some more liquid in there, no problem. All right, keep on stirring until this gets nice and velvety. And we're gonna finish it off with a little bit of butter. And that butter will bring it all together and really help with the velvetiness, if that makes any sense. Absolutely, I might have to put a little bit of water in here to get it just a little thinner. And we have chicken fried steak. Ooh -wee. Let's take a peek in at these bad boys. Look at this, guys. Oh my goodness. I know. Oh yeah. I know you guys' mouth is watering, right? And like, it, it, it has to be. Because mine's is watering and I'm right here with the food, guys. <laughs> like, I'm drooling right now. <laughs> Absolutely, I am. That's a little bit of water. And like I said, it's just to thin out my beautiful sauce and I'm gonna taste my uh, gravy all right this is how you make uh, the base for sausage gravy and you ground up that breakfast sausage woo and you pour this over some biscuits guys mm, mm, mm. I'm talking now right shut your mouth Gina shut your mouth girl all right I'm gonna taste it this is what I'm looking for look how beautiful and we got all those beautiful bits of that steak. Now, what you can do if you want it to, you can take those steaks and just nestle them right down in here. But I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let them pour the sauce right over their steak if they want it. Or put it on the side and they can dip their steak into it, however they want to do. All right? So, I'm going to clean my stove off. I'm getting ready to make a plate. One thing I need to do... I have to taste this because I need to know if it has the right amount of seasoning. So let's go in and do just that. Taste our beautiful sauce. Ooh, this reminds me of sausage gravy. Look at this, guys. Taste that right there. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Mmm. Mm-hmm. So good. Whoa. Here's what I need. Give me a little bit of garlic powder. Mm -mm. A little bit more black pepper, and that's why we taste things, because you need to know. And I'm going to put my other piece of the chicken bouillon in. All right? That is so tasty, guys. You hear me? Ooh, I'm going to smash my bouillon just like so. There we go. That way I can be assured that it, it melts for me, because it takes a while for those bouillon cubes to melt. Oh, yeah. I am ready. To make our plate, guys, we're going to give this a try. And I'm going to say good night to you all until tomorrow. I'm going to have a great video for you all tomorrow, too. Seven days a week, I'm trying to cook two videos. Two videos a day, guys. 
That's 60 videos a month, guys. You hear me? I am in this kitchen, and I'm putting in some work because I love you guys, and I appreciate you all. You hear me? And I am here for you. I am here for you to show you recipes, to share my recipes, to help people cook. Absolutely, I am. Seven days a week, you can find me on YouTube, guys. Yes, you can. Not a new video once a week. Oh, no. Oh, no. But a new video every day. I'm going to taste this, guys. Oh, yes. Yeah, baby. All right, that's it. I'm turning this off. Now, let's look at it. Look at this. Look at this. I wish you all could taste this. I wish you guys were here right now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh. All right, let's make this plate, guys. I'll be right back. I want to get me something to drink. Be right back, everyone. You guys thought I forgot. You thought I forgot, but not before. Got to put me some parsley in there. Not before I put my parsley in there. I never forget, guys. <laughs> be right back. Okay, everyone, I'm trying to distinguish which one I want. Which one do I want? I think I'm going right. Oh, my goodness. I think I'm doing this one right here. I don't want to be too greedy and grab the biggest one. Even though I want that. Even though I want that one, it's huge. Oh, my word. We'll save that big one for my husband. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, let's come down onto this thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, all jokes aside. All jokes aside, guys. You hear me? Woo! All right. Now, look at this, guys. Look at this. Chicken fried steak. 101. If you all never had any of this, you better make you some. You better make you some and try my recipe. Make it for your family and friends. And let them know you got this recipe from Gina Young. And they say, Gina Young who? And you're gonna say, oh, you didn't know? You didn't know? <laughs> all right. I am struggling to get a great picture. All right, there we go. There we go, baby. Now we're talking. All right, let's drizzle this beautifully. Oh, my goodness. You hear me, girl? Ooh I'm not playing. This right here, country fried steak, chicken fried steak, whatever you want to call it, 101. You hear me? Oh, let's look at this. Beautiful. Thank you, Jesus. God bless this meal. Thank you, Lord, for feeding me and my family, blessing us and taking care of us every day. Oh, my word. Let's go in. Country Fried Steak 101. All right. Ooh, I'm starting to sweat. So excited over here. Mm, mm, mm. Let's see, my son just brought me some water. Where's it at? I'm getting so excited. Put me a little bit of parsley on there. Because it's so beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, guys. You all want some black pepper on there? Just a little bit. Just a little tiny bit. Woo! Let's go, guys. If you all enjoyed this recipe, hey, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And make sure you click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload one of these awesome recipes. Absolutely. Let's go in right here. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, and I'm so glad I let it cool down a little bit so I'm not going to burn the daylights out of my mouth. 
I'm gonna let you all taste the first bite. And what I like about this steak, it didn't have a whole lot of fat on it, and yet it's still tender. Ooh, I got some corn under there. I gotta grab that, guys. Well, that's beautiful. Mm, mm, mm. Look at this. Chicken fried steak, 101. Look at it, guys. Taste that bite right there. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. This right here. Mm, mm, mm. have been guys seriously I have been cooking my butt off <laughs> from the clam chowder mm, mm, mm. to this here mm, mm, mm. wow wow is all I can say it's so delicious oh my word taste this guys mm, mm, mm. Taste that again. Ooh. Chicken fry. And look how crispy. So crispy and so moist and tender in the inside. You see that? Mmm. 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 Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it's just so good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Woo! It's funny because it kind of tastes like a fried pork chop. It kind of tastes like fried chicken. Mm. And then it really tastes like a steak. Man, it's good. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, 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 mm. You guys have to taste this again. You like you have to. Mm, taste right there. I'm gonna be honest with you. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Mm, mm, mm. I, can't, I can't stop, guys. <laughs> this gravy is so good. You can eat it alone. You hear me? You can eat it alone. It's so good. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. One thing I'm not going to do is eat this whole thing on camera. But I could. It's just that good. My goodness, look at this. Perfectly done. Not dry, not dry at all. Taste that right there, guys. Oh. I know you all can hear. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I know you all can hear the crunch from that crust. And this has been made, I mean, been out of the pan at least for 10 minutes. And it's still so nice and crunchy. God bless you all. Have a great night. Thank you all for watching. Good night.